dear students today i am going to give you the demonstration of determination of fes potentiometrically for this we need some uh, components devices chemicals etc the first thing is we need this uh, digital potentiometer and then we need small uh, rubber tube to mix up the solution well as a stirrer and a beaker and two electrodes we need so this is a platinum electrode this is a calomel electrode these two electrodes we need and then chemicals like potassium dichromate we require here it acts as a oxidizing agent in the presence of acidic medium to provide the acidic medium we are going to use this dilute sulfuric acid dilute h2so4 and this is the ferrous ammonium sulfate a sample of uh, analyte so these are the some chemicals and uh, uh, equipments we require along with this small uh, distilled uh, water bottle so now first thing is we have to fill the potassium dichromate this k2cr2o7 in the burette this is the burette in which the k2cr2o7 is filled 0.5 normal potassium dichromate is filled secondly we have to pipette out 25 ml of the ferrous ammonium sulfate this is the 25 ml of ferrous ammonium sulfate into this in order to provide the acidic medium for this uh, potassium dichromate we have to add this k2 h2so4 that is dilute sulfuric acid one test tube full then we have to immerse the electrodes before immersing the electrode we have to wash or rinse with the distilled water like this so after rinsing with the distilled water so we have to immerse these two electrodes in the fa solution along with h2so4 and also a small rubber tube is inserted which acts as a stirrer to mix up the whole solution well so these are the some experimental setup after this we have to connect these two electrodes into the digital ph uh, potentiometer we already connected these just we have to switch on both of these devices here it gives some initial reading so these are the some initial values of potential this we have to note down here this is 309 that is 309 is the initial potential value for the fes before the addition of k2cr2o7 that this is the tabular column in which the volume of k2cr2o7 is written in the first column in the second column we have to note down the reading given by the instrument that is for the zero addition initial value here we have to write 309 so after recording this initial potential value we have to add the k2cr2o7 in the increment of 0.5 ml now i am adding 0.5 ml of k2cr2o7 so after mixing it thoroughly we have to record the potential value here it gradually changes from 309 to 322 so for the 0.5 ml it changes to 322 so like this continuously we have to add 0.5 ml of k2cr2o7 in the increment of 0.5 0.5 0.5 only each time after mixing it thoroughly we have to record these changes there will be gradual again increase in the potential values so uh, how long it increases means here there will be a sudden jump in the equivalence point maybe in the range of 4.5 to 6 or 6 6.5 depending upon the volume of the fes the given here it changes so like this we have to record all the changes and also a sudden jump in the potential values so here i am going to show you the some of the previous values recorded here at the volume of 5 ml here there will be a sudden jump this is called the equivalence point so 4.5 395 5 7 55 this is called equivalence point neutralization point at this junction so we will uh, all the fas gets neutralized by this potassium dichromate that means the reaction gets ended up here after getting this jump let us record four or five readings like 1 2 3 4 5 readings in order to get the graph in accurate manner so after that we have to switch off all these instruments and let's go with the calculation part so calculation observation observation is very simple here already i have shown the 
क्या बोले कॉलम हिया विच कंटेंस फाइव डिफरेंट कॉलम्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव द फर्स्ट कॉलम इज वॉल्यूम ऑफ पोटेशियम डाइक्रोमेट जीरो टू सेवन पॉइंट फाइव टेन एम एल सेकेंड कॉलम इज पोटेंशियल वैल्यूज थर्ड कॉलम इज डेल्टा ई फोर्थ कॉलम इज डेल्टा वी एंड द फिफ्थ कॉलम इज डेल्टा ई डिवाइडेड बाई डेल्टा वी सो दिस इज वॉट द रीडिंग गिवन बाई द इंस्ट्रूमेंट What about the third column, delta E? How to calculate the delta E? Delta E is the successive changes in the two values of potential value. For example, so three not three fifty one minus of two hundred twenty is thirty one. Like this, we have to take the difference of these potential values and we have to write here in the column delta E. Similarly, delta V is the successive difference of the volume. In the increment of point five only, we added the potassium dichromate from the burette, and therefore. It is a constant value, zero point five from here to there, and at the end we have to divide the third column delta E divided by fourth column delta V. We are going to get these kind of values, and so after calculating all these things, we have to plot a graph. The nature of the graph will be like this. If you, this is the word nature of a graph of time here, so if you plot a graph. Uh, uh, Volume of any of potassium dichromate in the x-axis versus the delta E by delta V in the y-axis, we will get like this. This is called the peak. So we have to record this equivalence point. Maybe here phi at the volume of phi, we are going to get this equivalence point. By noting the note down this equivalence point, we are going to calculate the amount of FAS, strength of FAS by simple calculation. These are the some calculation parts here. The strength of the potassium dichromate is 0.5 normal. Volume of FAS pipetted is 25 ml into this uh, beaker, and volume of potassium dichromate consumed from the graph is 5. Therefore, the strength of the FAS is A into B divided by 25 gives 0.05 normal, 0.01 normal. Using that, we can calculate the weight of FAS. It is that is. Uh, Previous value multiplied by equivalent equivalent weight of FAS that is three ninety two and it gives at the end thirty nine point two. So this is for the calculation part and at the end we have to write the result like this. The strength of the FAS is zero point five normal. The weight of the FAS in the given sample is thirty nine point two. This is how we have to calculate FAS potentiometrically. Thank you.